YouTube, what's up? This your boy, Big B Productions 100. Now, in this video right here, we're going to be going over a couple of things. The first thing we're going to go over is about deleting your trash can. We're going to talk about uh, emptying it securely or whatever. So, And the next thing we're going to talk about is the new MacBook Pro that they have coming out for 2012. This new uh, case or whatever that they have coming out for the new MacBook Pro, the, the unibody case or something like that. So. Uh, I know a lot of you guys already know about as far as uh, deleting your trash securely out of your trash can, but I'm going to show you guys a better way to do it. Therefore, this way, you empty just not the trash, but you free up a lot of space as far as deep down in your hard drive. Some of that space that you really don't see when you just delete the trash out of the trash can that's sitting right here on your dock to the right side of the screen. So, uh, one of the ways you can do this is by going up to your finder, secure, empty trash. We're not going to do that. That's one way you could do it. It's cool. But we're going to do it a different way. By doing it this way, the way I'm going to show you, you can click on your applications folder. Go down to utilities. Click dish utility. Wait for this to do its little thing or whatever. Now, you see over here where it says verify. You're already right there, so you're good. What you want to do is you want to find your hard drive that you want to empty, the trash or whatever, which is, in this case, we're going to use Macintosh HD. Click on it. Now you want to go over to erase. Click on erase. Go down to erase free space. Now this is what you want to do. See, you have free space that's on your Mac that's being took up by your trash over here. Now most of the time when you delete your trash or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you delete the trash and everything, but you still have free space that you can actually clear up that'll give you more speed on your computer and give you more space, such as... uh. Gigabytes is whatever you know, what I'm saying whatever you want to use it for. So, you want to click on erase free space. Now, you have right here zero out deleted files, seven pass erase of deleted files, and you have a 35 pass erase of deleted files. Now, with each option, it takes longer. This is like the fastest one. I don't never really do that, so I always do what they call a seven pass. Now, with the seven pass, if you come down here, you see it say it takes uh, seven times longer than the zero out pass or whatever now what this does is it writes over your hard drive that free space that you have it writes like zeros or whatever over it basically telling your hard drive that this free space that we have we want to use it for something else so it lets your hard drive know that and it just writes over it continuously until it's like all deleted or whatever it clears out everything so that's real good i do it uh i just did it yesterday and it took like uh you know what i believe it took uh, an hour and 45 minutes so i just you know let it run or whatever i left the house or whatever you know what i'm saying let it do its thing and i came back to it but i'm gonna click on it if you click on it you see the startup or whatever creating temporarily file and right here it's saying erasing free space estimated time is 15 hours so like i say it takes a while depending on what you got in your trash can so in this case i have a couple of videos that i messed up on trying to do this tutorial so uh i'm gonna leave that in there for right now but I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip this for right now. I'm going to stop that. Come back to that a little bit later. So that's real cool. I just thought I'd show you guys that. The next thing I want to talk about was uh, the new MacBook Pro. Okay, now we all know that Apple, when they make their products, they'll do their design like, okay, if they was coming out for something for 2013, let's just say, or whatever, they'll start working on it. They'll start working on that now. You know, So we all know that they do their products two years before they release it. So which I think is pretty cool. That's why I love Mac. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but it's been rumors going around saying that they got a new MacBook Pro coming out for 2012. Now, the rumors that they have, they saying that it's going to be a new uh, case enclosure, something like that. Uh, I don't really know how the case is going to look right now. Right now, it's just speculations and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, leave comments down below. You know what I'm saying? Of what you think or whatever about this new MacBook Pro that they got coming out. Uh, how you think it'll look or whatever. So. I don't really think they'll change too much. We all know it's going to stay uh, with with the metal casing that they have now, the, the aluminum body or whatever. So I don't think they're going to change that. Uh, I think they might add more USB inputs. That'd be cool if they do something like that. We already know it's got the Thunderbolt, so it's going to be super fast. Uh, I'm also thinking about uh, that they might take what they have inside the uh, MacBook Air, the solid state or whatever hard drive. I'm thinking that they might just happen to put that in the MacBook Pro. So... I see that they got it already going into the IMAX and everything. They already got it for uh, the MacBook Air. Now, I was just on the phone with Apple yesterday. I called talking to one of the guys as far as about, uh, you know, upgrading my iMac 
putting a solid state drive in it. And he's saying that, you know, he's been getting a lot of calls in or whatever as far as about that. You know, so I guess a lot of people kind of like leaning more towards that. You know what I'm saying? We already know it's like super fast. It's better than the regular SSD hard drive that come installed in the IMAX already. So, like I said, just leave some comments down below what you think about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? How you think it'll look, uh, what type of RAM or whatever you think they're going to put in it or if they just keep the same RAM that they already have. So, uh, like I said, I hope this video helped you guys. Uh, your boy BB Production 100. Maybe in the next video, I'll bring some more cool apps to you guys or maybe another beat. So, uh, be sure to check me out on my website, ub2.com slash Productions. Uh, I'm putting up beats over there daily. Like, well, not daily, but weekly. So, it's always new stuff over there. And uh, like I said, uh, please subscribe. I'll let you.